I hope you have a good Memorial Day yesterday, and I just want to say that that last Saturday I went to Chuck E. Cheese with my with my man Jason, my boyfriend. Uh, when we were at Chuck E. Cheese winning games, there not much going on because if you didn't notice, they took the the SpongeBob game out of there. I don't know what happened. I guess too much Lego or something. They even took the the play slide for the kids that used to be there, but they took that out. I guess too much graffiti or something. And then, also at the Chucky Theater, I noticed that, that the Chucky and his friends were not moving that much when the songs are playing. It's probably the, they're kind of like getting old, just like running out of batteries or something, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yeah, everything was fine. And the other day, my, my roommate Kevin turned 58 on Sunday, and we had the cake for him. Although he doesn't really talk much, all he does, he can go, eh, or no, no, no. Because that's part of his non-verbal, you know, because, um, you know how he is. It's just that all he can do is use this typewriter to say, hi, I'm good, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and yeah, also today, also my my roommate Annie, she, today she woke up with a swollen lip on her, on her lip, and, and it was an itch. And she doesn't know what she's allergic to because, uh, we don't know for sure. Because we know it can't be mosquitoes or spiders. She feel like there's a spider or a mosquito, but like yesterday there were flies everywhere, and flies don't bite. They don't sting. Psh, flies tickle, you know. <laughs> yeah, we smack a lot of flies yesterday, and she's not allergic to them. But now today she got a swollen thing. I mean, we don't know what's causing it to give her and to what's giving her allergic reaction or something. It is really, really swollen. Her lips just itch and. So right now she she went to go to the doctor to see she went to go to the doctor to see if they're gonna find out if she's allergic to something because she doesn't really even know what she's allergic to because of because uh you know um like I remember what she's oh the only thing I remember she's not allergic to food plants or or makeup or any of that kind of stuff she's not even allergic to all of them but she doesn't even know what is causing an allergic reaction that's why they're they're gonna find out what it is and. And I hope they find a result or something. And of course, uh, I've been getting tested weekly because when I'm at a job, you know. And of course, I might, one of my teammates has started being, being a liar for calling, telling my coach that, that I've been following them around or, or doing something. I'm not sure. Or not giving them space. Well, what's their, well, what does that have to do with that? I didn't even follow them around. I was doing my own thing. Jeez. People, don't, don't just tell a lie. Don't rely on my coach like that. Because, because what if it actually, what if they found out that you're wrong? I mean, you know, it's not every day into the world that you can tell lies. Because you're not supposed to lie on the job. I mean, if you ever lie on the job, you might get fired. You know, don't lie, don't steal. Yeah, and my t other teammates have been stealing things without permission, taking things without permission. And they have to tell them, don't do that because, you know, you're not supposed to steal. You're not supposed to lie on the job. Yeah, and no, no threatening, no, no being rude, no more being mean. That's why my coach says we all have to be respectful and be flexible when we're at the job. I mean, I'm trying to mind my own business. I hope things will go well tomorrow. I, tomorrow I have volunteer and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to do the right thing and make sure I do all the things I can do. Well, not all of them, but but I'm sure I'm going to probably do something, you know, what? It's not every day, you know. <laughs> and of course, um, oh, what was I going to say? Um, I think that's pretty it, except I know I've been hearing a lot of shooting in Texas. Of course, one of the school principals got shot by, by a student who wants to shoot because the student... The reason why the student said he wants to shoot his grandma is because his grandma has been taking things away from him, and he was an adult, and as according to his young adult age, he's like, if you keep punishing me, I'm going to have to kill you. Well, you shouldn't do that. I mean, it's not very, it's illegal. You can't do something very legal because you don't even know. I mean, you could get arrested, and you got you got to be careful because um, it's not the end of the world, you know. It, I mean, shooting is for the bad guy. I mean, bad guys can have guns, but just be careful because you don't even know what can happen. And 
and trust me, you could get arrested. So, <laughs> and um, and yeah, I know last week there was shooting over in San Fernando Valley, and and of course um, of course I've been hearing a lot of helicopters where I live at. Although I don't live in San Fernando, I live in Granada Hills because it's San, San Fernando Valley is it's part of the L.A. County, so yeah. <laughs> The Grand Hills is part of L.A. County as well, so... And that's when I've been hearing sirens and everything. I was like, how many people been shooting? I mean, what's going on? I don't know if it's the same suspect or a different suspect. But yeah, you know. And I'm not mentioning the other city over there because... Someone told me to shut up about that shooting and... And you know what city you know who. <laughs> but no. I'm not gonna do that anyway. Anyway, that's all for now, and hope you stay safe, and, and see ya. Take care.